PaintShop Pro lets you choose your own path with multiple workspaces designed for all different styles of projects. In this video tutorial, you'll get an overview of all three workspaces, Photography, Essentials, and the Complete Workspace, including all the main features in each and how to jump from one workspace to another. Let's get started. When you launch PaintShop Pro for the first time, the Photography Workspace is set as the default. This workspace is perfect to start with if it's your first time working with the application, if you're new to photo editing, or if you've had experience with free or inexpensive web-based editing apps and you're looking for something a little more powerful. The first thing you'll notice about the Photography Workspace in PaintShop Pro is that the sleek and simple interface makes it a breeze to navigate. The icons are nice and large, so if you're working on a touch device, this workspace is a natural companion. The majority of your edits you'll make here are quick and simple, either one-click, smart solutions, or involving dynamic strength sliders that really take a lot of the guesswork out of editing. So let's look at some of the tools. The top bar is home to your basic editing tools like pan, zoom, flip, and rotate. Moving down to the bottom toolbar are PaintShop Pro's most popular tools conveniently assembled for you. One Step Photo Fix intelligently applies basic corrections to your photo in an instant. If that doesn't do the trick, you can keep editing and customizing your photo until it's reached perfection. You can use brightness and contrast to adjust the overall lightness and darkness of your photo, and the interactive sliders allow you to pinpoint the perfect balance. And just as a reminder, you'll always want to make sure the preview on image option is ticked on. That will allow you to see your changes in real time. Next, we'll jump into white balance, which allows you to adjust the colors in your image, balancing them to the primary light source in the photo. And PaintShop Pro will even do this for you automatically if you select smart white balance. If you want more control, just play with the slider to create a cooler or warmer temperature. If that's still not enough, select Advanced Options for more custom edits. Inside Color Adjust, you can manipulate the hue, saturation, and lightness of your image to create some really unique visuals. The High Pass Sharpen tool will enhance the clarity of pixelated images. Adjust the Radius, Strength, and Blend mode for more precise edits. If you have noise in your photo, for example a picture that was taken in low light, one-step noise removal instantly corrects your photo so it looks sharp and polished. Those are the main tools in the bottom toolbar, but if you're looking for more, just click more for a few more options and keep working on your photo. Last but certainly not least, PaintShop Pro includes a generous library of fun instant effects to quickly apply a sense of style to a project. Just click instant effects to launch a getting started window with steps to select and apply the presets. The drop-down bar up top will allow you to select a specific category or you can scroll through them all at once. As you select different effects, watch the thumbnail up top for a preview. When you're ready to apply one, just double-click the effect thumbnail. You can combine effects as well by just double-clicking another effect. And if you're not happy with the effect you chose, just click undo and try a different effect until you're happy with your final product. Now let's jump over to the Essentials workspace by going to File, Workspace, and choosing Essentials. The Essentials workspace is packed with core editing and retouching tools and features, all neatly organized in a simple interface. If this is your first time working with PaintShop Pro, and you're a beginner to intermediate level photo editor, this will be the ideal workspace to start off in. Or if you just prefer working with a few select tools to provide a nice, uncluttered working space, you'll love working in Essentials as well. That said, there's no need to settle with the default here. You have several customization options available to make your workflow as efficient as possible. If you're used to working in the complete workspace, you'll notice that a few things are different. But keep in mind there are several tools and commands that are simply hidden in the Essentials workspace, just to keep the interface uncluttered and nicely organized. If a function you love is missing, it's most likely still available, you'll just need to alter your customization options. Select Quick Customize from the side toolbar to hide or show controls that you want to work with. You can always hit Reset Toolbar to revert back to the way it was the last time you saved. You can customize which palettes are visible by selecting Palettes on the top toolbar. You can also change the overall look of the interface by going to the User Interface dropdown and changing your icon and text size as well as your preferred interface color. You may notice that some familiar tools are grouped together differently than in other workspaces. For example, Straighten and Perspective Correction are grouped together under the Crop tool, but the tools work exactly the same. Now that we have a good overview of the Essential Workspace, let's take a look at the Complete Workspace. The Complete Workspace is where you'll find all of your pro-level editing and design tools. If you're new to PaintShop Pro, 
This workspace might seem a bit overwhelming at first, but don't worry, there's plenty of learning content available to help you take full advantage of all the great features built into this workspace. Right off the bat, you'll notice that there are two tabs at the top of the complete workspace, Edit and Manage. The Manage tab is where you can browse, organize, and tag your photos. In the Computer tab, under Navigation, you can easily access photos using the existing folder structure on your computer. In the Collections tab, you can quickly import photos and take advantage of the full scope of organizing tools, including tags, ratings, and searching across all your imported photos. There's also a handy info palette, which allows you to view and edit your photo information and metadata. Let's move into the Edit tab, which is where you'll likely be spending most of your time working. When you first begin, there are several palettes open by default, so you might want to spend some time customizing the interface to suit your specific needs. The Learning Center palette is a great resource to come back to in reference if you get stuck on a particular task. Just select any category to generate a new list of informative steps and tips to master a task. But for now, let's keep this one hidden. At any time and in any workspace, you can also find help right in the application by going to Help in the top navigation bar. Here you can search common help topics, check out the user guide PDF, walk through the guided tour, show the learning palette again, and much more. Additionally, you can select the Home button to bring you back to the welcome screen. The palettes that will be open by default in the complete workspace are Layers, Material, Organizer, and Tool Options, but you can pick and choose which works best for you to hide or show. Under User Interface, you can customize the size of the icons, text, scroll bars, and node size, as well as change the color of the workspace and background. Your Organizer palette is pre-populated with some sample imagery to experiment with, but you can easily access your own folders by clicking the Show Hide Navigation button. Once your workspace is customized to suit your preferences, you're ready to start editing and designing with PaintShop Pro. You can design multi-layer projects, edit 360-degree photos, create stunning double exposures, work with text, transform your photos into art with pick to painting and so much more. The possibilities are endless with the power of PaintShop Pro. Hope you enjoyed the workspace overview. Now it's time to get started on your next masterpiece.